From my heart and from my hand Why don't people understand my intention? Good morning from a very cold and crisp Hamburg A um, couple of updates to share with you today as I pursue more of the electric drivetrain uh, systems So I've been visiting Hamburg on and off for the last 20 years and it always impressed me how many classic minis are running around the city still in use this one looks a little bit more abandoned than normal but you don't have to travel too far into the suburbs to actually find examples like this and actually there's another one parked just here open top So I'm here for a couple of days, uh, one for work and the other one for pleasure. Of course, I'm still trying to hunt down the next electric drivetrain system uh, to test drive. Um, a couple of challenges, however, in the last few days, Hamburg has moved to Amber Alert because of the, uh, the COVID-19 virus. So it's proving a little bit uh, tricky. So regardless of what happens in the next few days i thought i'd share with you some of the specifications for the drivetrain that i was looking at um but yeah it's it's a little cold so i think we'll jump to my hotel room and i'll update you from there so the second technology that i wanted to actually test was uh, developed by a company called think which is a norwegian or a finnish company that started 20 years ago um the company itself has a bit of a checkered history because it's gone bankrupt three or four times. And I think at some point in its life, it was actually acquired by Ford as well for development. But all of those things have since ceased and evaporated. But having said that, there are a couple of companies that are now recycling these Think Electric cars and the drivetrain itself because Siemens were the one that produced the motor and the controller for this system. So actually, it is still available. And the chap I was going to talk to actually, as I mentioned, fitted it to a classic mini pickup uh, with quite some success. Now, it does have some advantages and disadvantages in comparison to the other systems. Uh, advantages are definitely the top speed. Uh, and also it can be turned into a rear wheel drive system on a Clubman. Whereas the other systems are all front wheel drive, which obviously changes the handling characteristics, but nonetheless interesting. It's fairly compact, as you can imagine, as a result. Um, it does have a better top speed than the one I tried in the Netherlands because it does have around about 130 kilometers per hour speed. However, the range is very much different because the range is a maximum of 150 kilometers. And that's largely based around the fact that the battery pack that goes with this is an older battery technology and therefore is much heavier now whereas the one in the netherlands only changed the weight of the car by 30 kilograms or kilos <laughs> um, this one actually changes the weight by 100 kilos which is quite a difference as you can imagine anyway um non having said that i wanted to try this it was the rank outsider in terms of the technologies that I were, was considering for this particular project. But I'll share the specifications along the side there because maybe this is interesting to someone else. Uh, it is much cheaper because it's a recycled technology and you can actually pick systems up for between 10 and 15,000 euros. And the battery technology is much cheaper than the more modern systems as well. So it's much more economical than the other systems that I wanted to test. Um, so sorry guys, no uh, test drive to share with you on this particular occasion. 